Welcome to Utah Stories Top 5, where we scour all of the top headlines of the day and sift through all of the spin and clutter and present to you the most important and pressing headlines, saving you countless hours. I'm your host for today, Allegra Zuglitz. On today's Top 5, why Utahns like to collect things, the emergence of immigrant entrepreneur woman in Salt Lake, advocates want SLC Sports District to include affordable housing, how much is Utah receiving for Utah County projects, Utah bid to host Sundance advances. But before we get to our headlines, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to our channel. And today's episode is brought to you by Utah Stories Magazine. We have a special this month where you can try out the magazine for just a dollar per month for three months. Get the best of local Utah hikes, restaurants, and independent journalism delivered right to your mailbox for one dollar. And enjoy and experience the best of local Utah. All right, let's dive into our first headline and story. Why Utahns like to collect things. Collecting, whether coins or stamps, is a popular hobby in Salt Lake City, offering both fun and deep connection to history. Bruce Wayne Griggs, an active member of member of the Utah Numismatic Club enjoys the historical and artistic aspects of coin collecting, including designing medals that commemorate local history. Similarly, stamp collecting provides a wide array of possibilities from the thematic to country-specific collections, as highlighted by collectors like Dave Blackhurst and C- Steve Baldridge. The social aspect of these hobbies is significant, fostering friendships and shared passions, with enthusiasts often starting young and continuing or resuming their collections later in life. Alrighty, moving on to story number two, the emergence of immigrant entrepreneur woman in Salt Lake. The woman-owned small business, WASP, collective at the Gateway Mall showcases the entrepreneurial spirit of immigrant women who face unique challenges but demonstrate perseverance, creativity, and hard work. The diverse women behind this initiative each bringing their cultural heritage and individual talents to their business. Their stories highlight the economic contributions and shifting dynamics in a traditionally male-dominated business environment. The collective emphasizes the importance of community support, encouraging immigrant women to pursue their dreams and achieve independence. Alrighty, moving on to story number three, advocates want SLC Sports District to include affordable housing. Advocates for unsheltered Utahns are urging Salt Lake City to mandate the inclusion of deeply affordable homes in the plans for a new sports and entertainment district downtown, according to the Salt Lake Tribune. In a letter to city officials, Glenn Bailey of Crossroads Urban Center proposed that up to 20% of new housing be allocated for low-income residents if zoning changes for increased building density are approved. This call for affordable housing is aligned with the nonprofit's mission and comes ahead of public hearings on the Smith Entertainment Group's $3 billion investment proposal, which includes potential tax increases. Alrighty, moving on to story number four. How much is UDOT receiving for Utah County projects? The Utah Department of Transportation is receiving $1.4 million in funding for Utah County projects, according to KSL. The projects included in the funding are conversion of 2100 North to a freeway in Lehigh, 554 million, including 275 in new funding, Pioneer Crossing Flex Lanes, 77 million, and an extension of Mountain View Corridor South to Quarry Ride Highway, 553 million. Alrighty, moving on to story number five, Utah bid to host Sundance advances. According to the Utah News Dispatch, a story by Alex Sol Cabrera, Utah's bid to host Sundance has advanced. Past 2027 Sundance Festival's contract is set to expire. The Utah Film Commission announced its bid to host the Sundance Film Festival would proceed to the next step on its request for proposal process for, quote, the 2027 Film Festival and beyond, according to the article. Thank you so much for joining me today. Remember, if you like this content and you want to engage to a greater degree with your local community, go out and subscribe to either Utah Stories Print Magazine or a free digital newsletter. From utahstories.com, you can subscribe to our newsletter that offers all the stories we are covering in-house. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.